Making strawberry jam from scratch is so therapeutic for me. And ever since I learned how to make this, I always prefer we make ours at the bakery instead of using store-bought ones. It's that simple. Here's what you need. Strawberries bought from the local market can be really dirty. And so it's important you take your time to wash off the dirt as many times as possible, making sure that the water is this clear. Pat dry, cut off the green stem, and then chop it up into as many pieces as possible. Now place your chopped strawberries in a clean pot and pour the remaining ingredients inside. Now our recipe calls for pectin, but if you don't have that, you can totally skip it. Just wait till the end of the video and I'll show you what to do if you don't have. Place your pot on medium heat and once it begins to simmer like this, take your non-stick spatula and begin to mix thoroughly. This is how you know strawberries have a lot of juice in them. Just look at the liquid content we have going on here. Anyway, you want to make sure that you keep mixing. You don't want any burning. All right. And you leave this on the heat for about 20 minutes. After this time, we have successfully made for ourselves strawberry sauce. What I'm doing now is taking my immersion blender just to blend and smooth in my sauce. It's not yet jam. And once I've smoothed it out to the consistency I want, I pour this in a container and use as required. This strawberry sauce is completely wonderful for pancakes, waffles, pies, cheesecake, and in fact, fantastic as fillings for trifles. To turn it into a strawberry jam, you want to take it back to the heat and continue with the mixing process, making sure that you don't take your hands off that mixing at all. So we're going to keep on with this process until it goes from being really liquid to thick like so and it's going to look darker in color. And at this stage, if you're in doubt, you're going to take your candy thermometer, make sure that you reach a temperature of 220 degrees Fahrenheit. The jam will set nicely at this temperature. So if you don't have pectin, you want to make sure you don't skip this step. Pectin acts as a natural preservative in jams and of course it helps to thicken the jam substantially. So if you didn't put that in your recipe, you want to make sure that you cook it thoroughly until it's really thick and whatever jars you're going to use to store is properly sterilized. To do this, simply boil your glass jars in hot water. Store in the fridge or use immediately. I used ours to fill some vanilla sponge cake and this chocolate cupcake as well. Thanks for watching and I really hope you try this recipe out. Happy caking!